Well, good evening, everyone. Every time you leave the grocery store, does it feel like you're spending more and getting less? Much, much less. Well, you're not alone. Over the past 10 years, the price of food has gone up nearly 27%. Tobacco and other smoking products, along with butter, uncooked ground beef, prescription drugs, and bacon have all gone up. So how can we save some cash and make ends meet? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan found out it's all about knowing where to look. Josh. Jeff and Ashley, I spoke with a local coupon blogger who keeps close tabs on that sort of thing and with a little bit of work, she says there are a lot of ways to save while shopping for food. Suzanne Gracie runs Suzy Saver Western New York. It's a coupon blog that offers advice on how to save money grocery shopping and also how to save on a wide variety of other products. When grocery shopping, Suzanne often goes to different stores to get the best deals, but if that's not a possibility for you, she recommends looking closely for coupons in the paper, online, in the store, and on certain apps. A lot of times, she says those coupons can be combined with store sales to maximize savings. As my children get older, I'm realizing that it's even more important to shop the sales and look for coupons because it just is so expensive to feed a family of five if you don't do those things. Suzanne says she's noticed the price of food going up over the years and that has changed how she shops for groceries. She also says to get famili familiar with the best times of year to buy certain foods. Right now, grilling related items are often at their best prices. She says January is the best time for health food products. Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News. Thanks.